there. Welcome back to It Gets Lonely Here. Like my purgatory. <laughs> Where we're still gonna keep on going. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I moved my cup up. You thought when you saw her amongst the grave that she would be more distant somehow and more mysterious. We know! Plus it's been a long while since I'm assuming she's seen someone. <laughs> she's just happy to know someone else is alive. <laughs> Perhaps you are mixing her up with someone else. You are so unsure if you can trust this girl, but your intuition, it is in a feeling one. It, it is much more appealing, yeah, certainly, than spending the night outdoors in the cold, kidnapping, napping in the grave. What are you, a romantic, a romantic shit? Don't know. Please, you might be slow or show of pondering. The girl, is it, is it innovation? Is that, is that the very least? You do not want to appear too eager, but. Your anticipation, your implicitness is a lack in invisibility, the vulnerability. Oh snap! Why would you ever refuse her? Oh, saying that this is the first person we freaking see in the series, she would become our bestest of friends. <laughs> she is the first friend, the friendly face. Who all night. I think we scratched that the first friendly face we've seen the this for this entire series. <laughs> Without her, you would be all alone. Your hostile uh, has hostess leads you to a small humble home. Locked located but a don't throw away from the church, built in the shadows of a twisted, towering scale. It is like floor. There you go with that. The girl's home is in such a state, it seems, it seems a folly to even call it a home. Well, it's better than nothing. Puzzled, would you, would you, uh, would you, to be more appreciative than this? I'm using a lot of words I don't often hear, damn it. But when your hostess leads you inside, her eyes alive, and she says, Here we are. Home sweet home. You don't have to, you don't have the heart to tell. You don't have the heart to tell her. That you don't find her home very homey or very sweet. <laughs> well, it's a hell of a lot better than nothing. I'm mean, gonna have to be the roof over your head. That's all that matters. That would be incredibly rude. As a guest, you ought to be more appreciative. Yeah, roof over your head and food in your belly. That's all that matters. <laughs> you can the end of the day. Prove your own. Half-heartedly, you look around your newfound surrounding. The ceiling is supported by wooden joints. And he is perfectly, uh, 
really nicely alone. Not so much that you can that you're in no in danger of bumping your head, but just enough to feel claustrophobic. Well, when you live alone, you don't need tons of space. <laughs> you just need what you need. Yeah. There is a fire in the corner. No, it is not consistently needed. Okay, it's way great. The fire instead is blazing in an open circle. It of logs is uh, is like it's long like a scene from a witch's kitchen. One told me to wait. Above the fire hangs a uh, silvery pot, supported from one of the wooden uh, shells. Other objects of interest are hung from the elf 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 Implements uh, you take a, be a cooking utensil, you know, various herbs and strips of metal. Love to secure. The smell of cooking foods are uh, the air mangled with the sharp pure steam of the unwashed bodies. Why? Okay, I don't want to know why you brought in dead butter. Are we looking at you? Or how, you wonder, does your hostess clean herself by going outside? Do you not see a bathtub anywhere? Not everyone can get a luxury gimmick. We'll call it take a shower. <laughs> Perhaps she does not possess one. Eh, there might be a river nearby. The girl's home is unremarkable in every recognize in every regard. What is you? Is suppose what it what it is you suppose better not nothing. Might be a river nearby. Maybe that's how she gets clean. <laughs> At least there's a roof over your head and food in the pot. You have food to put you in your belly. The girl looks to the pot, send it over the fire, which she gives a share with the, the lap. Share with the lap. Ladle? Yeah, ladle. Then she brings the ladle to her lips. She, whatever connection she has, concoction she is brewing within her. You can only hope that she is not like the weird sister from that famous play, brewing a broth with firmly tiny snakes. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Yes, I think this is just about done. The girl said, nobody in particular. Oh. She sets the ladle down, back into the pot, then looks at you and smiles. Get on over there, she has food, damn it. What if Todd makes food? She's like, what do you want me to explain about? Food is food. <laughs> Unless it kills you. In that case, then there's a problem. <laughs> These words are like... Oh, wait. Did you read that last one? Do uh, you uh, want something? It looks as though... It looks as though... You came quiet. You came quiet 
long way. And you must be hungry. And you must be hungry. Oh, sorry. I kind of went back and forth about these words. I like music to your ears. Even more the vibe and the temperature as it trembles with the god. Most loyal angel. You are the are you are so hungry? You could eat a horse. Fair enough. Not that there are any horses in the immediate vicinity. <laughs> and you express your interest and connect it to their hostess. I'll be respond. I thought you'd like the sound of that. <laughs> Just give me a few minutes. A few moments. Your hostess reveals two an earthwood bowl from the top floor with a risky hot handle. I'm gonna go with handle. That into which she pours into a hefty helping of whatever it is she is cooking. Any of yeah, they could be anything. This she serves with bread, which is so hefty it could be used as a murder weapon. Hey, Ellie. Hey, that's the worst with what you got, man. <laughs> food is food. I don't care where it comes from. I just don't want to become a cannibal. <laughs> I don't care what the food is. What food it is. Don't judge me. I think this is good. That's all that matters. <laughs> it's not much. I'm afraid. No, it's not much, I'm afraid. It's only soup and bread. It should say dead job crap to say so. Jeez, soup just doesn't sound that bad. Look in. Soup and snacks. I'm good at times. Pretty much what you need. <laughs> That's it, uh, man. You think you're a hostess for for her hospitality. Your stomach rumbling all the while. That says a lot. The soup does not look like anything you would typically consume. What the soup or is it? Possession does not dismiss you. I put the table. It is true now that people eat first with their eyes. But when one is hungry now, one becomes a, 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 a blizzard enough to eat almost anything. That part is just true. Why else do you think that people, when stand, when trained upon a desert island, will resort to cannibalism? Oh, and there's no food. <laughs> Humans are creatures of necessary of necessity. You like the war. You like to warm yourself up and. But in actuality, you are not much better than animals. Be salt. <laughs> you are so hungry, your stomach is aching, empty, that you. Yeah, that you certainly depend upon your food like an animal. Your teeth grind. Your is that this gleam that soon you have consumed all that your hostess has offered you. Hey, when you're hungry, you're hungry. <laughs> I don't judge. Your hostess, which which watches you eat. And she giggles once you have finished. 
Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Once you don't eat for a while, you'll eat almost anything, man. You catch your host's split shame. Only a shame. A shame. Hey, who eats food? When you're hungry, you're hungry, dammit. <laughs> you were so hungry, you failed, failed to account for judgment. Now that you have some food in your belly, though you have been suddenly warm, warm your old self-conscious is burning. Did you, did you make a fool out of yourself? Your demeanor shyly looks at your lap, fearful at, oh, oh, at the whole what your hostess might be thinking of you. <laughs> you do not want her to take against you. You don't want to take against you. And from here, I think it's the best time to get of the episode. So, I hope all you guys have a great, love them, and a great day too. Well, I question what she's gonna do. <laughs>